I cut my hair. What do you think? Let me know. Because I wanted to cut it for so long and I was like, no, Lorraine, it's not going to burn. But I've had this length before when I had it grey, so I thought, you know what, just try it. And I'm loving it. So, like I said before, if you need any hair stuff done, my email where you can just send me all your inquiries will be in the description box. Hello! But yeah, this is just a random bit. I haven't even started the video yet. Let me pull up, pull up, pull up stuff in the beginning. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'd just like to thank you so much for joining me on this video. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me. So today I've got a bit of a mini haul type thing. It's not really that many pieces. You get a few messages on Snapchat like concerning some of the bits and bobs I'm about to show you so it's just going to be a bit of like a mini review just things that I picked up over like the Black Friday period or not everything just a few bits really mainly makeup and shoes so it's going to be like a makeup and shoes kind of like video so yeah I'm just going to get straight into it the place that I got my beauty stuff from was from Beauty Bay they were having like up to 50 I think it was 50% or 30% off it was just a lot off literally I was in the queue for like an hour waiting just to go on my website, it was ridiculous. But I did pick up some really cool pieces that I'd love to show you. So the first thing that I picked up was this um, palette. It's the Juvia's Place um, Magic Palette. It's called the Magic Palette. And it, if I can open it, looks like this. Aren't those colours just gorgeous because I'm a very neutral gold browns warm colours type of person and I thought no I need to venture out I need to try other things so what drew me to this palette was these like purples there's these greens and then a red because I did not actually have like a nice um red in my like collection so I thought all oh, that really stunning orange is obviously going to be like wow and then the gold so like oh my gosh the pigment okay I'm talking too much you can tell how much I like this palette so I'm gonna go like step by step so the colors collection like the color selection is great I really like how they have like the top two rows are warm and then the bottom two rows are cool so if you need something to kind of like start off your collection this would be a really nice palette Actually, this would be a nice second palette. I think the first palette should always have browns, golds, and nudes because then you can use those for your transition colours and then use this to like build it up. And then I'm going to do a couple of swatches on my arm just to show you like the colours because they're so stunning. Even the names, like you've got Ife, you've got Yara, you've got Yedide. I'm not even, I'm probably not even saying it, probably I'm not even Nigerian, but you know, like. Even the names are just so like unique and different. Like I just love this palette. My only con is that some of the matte pigments aren't as like pigmented as I would like them to be. Like this one, if a because I did use this palette in my previous video. And this colour here, the if a colour, it took me a bit of like work to try and get the colour payoff that I was looking for but apart from that the shimmery colours like these shimmer shades are stunning like one swipe you're not even going to be able to see this properly but one swipe and you're actually ready to go so this palette I would give it a massive thumbs up I would highly highly recommend it if you're ever thinking about picking up an eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place go ahead it's black owned which I'm a super big supporter of so go and pick this up because it's amazing so the next item that I picked up from Beauty Bay following on from the eyeshadow palette was this this is the Sahara blush palette in the volume 1 edition guys just look at these colours oh my gosh it's not even as guys in person it's so vibrant i don't know if it's picking it up nicely on the camera but these colors are so gorgeous especially like for blush colors because i really like deeper colors for like obviously chocolate girls because i love my orange you know i love the orange from the 
Anastasia palette and I love Sahara from Sleek so you know I'm going to love the orange anyway. I love this colour, it's really close to Raisin by MAC, that's what this colour reminds me of. This colour is the one colour I was a bit like, ooh, I don't know about that. But I'm going to try using you never know, exploring and that, that's what makeup's about. And then this colour here is gorgeous, it's like a deep plummy colour. I mean, maybe use it for contour rather than blush but it's gorgeous. Then you get these two shades, these are highlighters and they're gorgeous. I'm gonna swatch them all for you and show you like in a cutaway or something like that. But the colours are gorgeous, they're just amazing. So this blush palette is another highly recommended item. I'm not gonna lie, when I was on the website, everything was pretty much sold out. Like they have like three or four items in the Zweeva, they had a few items here, a few items there. Like, Everybody had ransacked the damn place, but I went on to Jouer because I've never really, like I've seen their lip products and stuff, but I've never really been too interested and it was quite a bit of, it's quite a bit of money off. So I thought, oh, let me give it a go, let me see what they're about. So I saw this, Jouer Longwear Lip Cream Liquid Lipstick. I'm actually wearing it today on top of Kapow. And this is the colour. It is so gorgeous. I'm going to swatch it on my hand and show you. I think I showed it to you in which video? Oh no, I think it was on Snapchat. This is why you guys need to add more Snapchat. So I'm going to put my Snapchat right there. All these pieces, all these like things, I already showed it on Snapchat because that's where like I literally instantly go to like for things like this. So if you want to get the, you know, insider scoop early you know what to do so yeah this color is called i'm gonna butcher it pam pample mousse pample mousse it's the weirdest word ever but the color is just mm, so gorgeous but when i put it on top of other liquid lipsticks it kind of like doesn't that have the same like sh sheen I feel like almost I'd have to wear it maybe on its own with just lip liner and then maybe a gloss to give it that really metallic look. But I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look as metallic y as I would really like it to be. But either way, like the colour is really lovely and I'm not gonna lie, I thought I'd get a bigger, um bigger one than this, but it's just nice to try. I'm gonna try to do like kind of different looks with it and I think it would look really nice on the eye as well. So, I'm interested to try and see what this is saying, but again, this gives, this, ooh, this gets a thumbs up from me. So, the next item that I picked up from Beauty Bay was a skincare product from The Ordinary, because I really want to try, like, so many of their products, because everything is cheap. Like, their foundations are £5, primers are £3, like, come on, student on a budget here, hello. So, I picked up this, if you can see this is the ordinary um alpha lipoic lipoic acid five percent and it's a concentrated serum to brighten and to target signs of age and i'm someone who's really into like brightening like i've been having a lot of issues with my skin in the past and like it's slowly like getting there you know slowly like but surely and i saw this is like for brightening i thought yeah my skin can be quite dull at times and then it targets signs of age. Obviously, still a young bang, but like basically, as you get into your twenties, apparently it's supposed to start like the anti-aging things, like not like too heavily, just small, small. So, but this is my one anti-aging thing, and it helps to brighten, so it can't be too bad. I've been using it as like a chemical exfoliator because it's an acid, and you're only supposed to use it like twice a week, and I feel like. Because it has that brightening effect, it does have like some exfoliating properties and I find it so nice to use. Like I feel like when I wake up the next day, because I use it at night, when I wake up the next day my skin is more radiant, I just look a bit more glowy. Even like when I use it at night, like, my skin just looks really just soft and glowy and I love it. Yeah, so those are the products from Beauty Bay. Then I've got just a couple more things to show you. And that's it. So the first shoe that I have to show you is from Adidas and these shoes you just see them everywhere because they're nothing 
special, but like, I do love them. They're these superstars. I had to pick up another. Oh my god, I hope I don't get makeup on it. I had to pick up that. Like, they're proper fresh, that's why I'm touching the bottom. But I had to pick up another pair because my other. Um, can I talk? I had to pick up another pair because the ones that I had were just absolutely mangled. Like, and these ones, oh my god, I didn't notice it until I got it, but it's got like croc print. Like the black bit is croc print, and I was like, oh, that is so mother effing fancy. That is so, so fancy. So I said, oh, that's cute. And I got these in a size five. And I like how it doesn't have any like gold or silver. So that when I do like wear it with stuff, like it doesn't like, I mean, it's not like the most out there feature on the shoe, but I mean, it's nice that it's just black and white. Yeah, I got these in a size five. So I love wearing these to dress down an outfit and to just chill as well like these are the type of shoes you throw on when you're going to uni to school to the shops to just do bits whatever you want to do then you can also like dress it um use it to dress down an outfit like if you're wearing something really smart you can throw this on with it like there's so many ways to style this shoe that's why i just think it's such a essential piece to have in your wardrobe this is great for summer but also autumn winter like it's just an all year round shoe love it okay so the last shoe that i have is from simi and these shoes are just everything everything so this is the shoe and i'm so in love like they're just gorgeous if you guys know the louis vuitton i don't know what the name is called but the louis vuitton boot of this and it's got like blue vuitton in like a ribbon and then it's got white laces so for this one you can literally buy white laces and it literally looks like the real okay it doesn't look like the real thing but you know what i mean it looks close enough like i just love this style of boot i love the actual louis vuitton one with like the louis vuitton in like i think it's on the on the tongue or on the side i can't really remember i'm just waffling a lot but that louis vuitton shoe is so gorgeous and i saw this and i was just like i would love to just style this because i had a boot like this before but it was all like velvet and it was really it was from h&m actually it was so gorgeous i used to wear it all the time it wasn't as high as this so i don't know if i can get away with this for like daytime wear but i'm gonna try i am gonna try but i just love this shoe here's the other pair and yeah this is in the sale from Simi. that is everything in my haul i really want to thank you again for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already add me on my socials i'll put them over here and yeah thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye